Nine designers have been eliminated. Only three remain. Tonight, all 12 designers have returned to New York for a special episode. I hate to, to cut this short, Tim, but I gotta get back to it. I didn't do anything. I just like draped it around, like tied it together, and that's it. Do you know it? Hey, what's up? What's up? How, How are, are you? you? Good. Star, I'm sorry, you're out. Fashion, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. No, 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 sweetie. I came here to compete. And not to be f***ed around with. Oh, cloth. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey. Hello. <laughs> okay, turn around. <laughs> it's so small. Look in the mirror. Yes. Yeah, so Have you ever worn a bikini that tall? Or? Uh -uh. No? Oh. <laughs> Selling in more boutiques and stuff. Oh, I'm sure it's just a show and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I'll show you my look when I brought it. Stars doing the black, black and red. Is that bad? Nice to be more subtle than that. Say it to my face, Kevin. But I don't think you want to know what I think. Just gonna get stabbed. <laughs> Hi! What's Hi. up, guys? <laughs> Hello. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> What's up, Mark? What are you doing? I just don't know how I'm going to respond. If you don't have Wendy, yeah. I, I don't even I mean, think I can say hi to her. On the other hand, maybe she all along she was just like a smart, savvy businesswoman. <laughs> Wendy, if you listen to this, you, should, you don't deserve to be there. <laughs> This is the search for the next big fashion designer. It's a cutthroat business. The competition was fierce. Twelve contestants, three finalists, and one winner. Three designers will make their runway debut at Olympus Fashion Week. I plan to make it to fashion. I think I'll be number one. And the winner of Project Runway will receive everything they need to start their own label. I think I deserve to win. People are going to start getting pretty bitchy. Oh my. For these 12 contestants, Project Runway is the chance of a lifetime. I want to welcome you guys to our special show. So nice to see all of you guys again. In a minute, we're going to bring out the final three and um, ask them some questions. And we want to ask you guys some questions. As you all know, Austin was the last designer to be eliminated. So we want to show a little video clip of those last special moments for Austin. I, I don't know what to do about Austin. We can't seem to get him out of the box of this couture world. That is true. Wendy, you are the winner of this challenge. Nancy O'Dell did pick your dress to wear to the Grammys. So you're in. Austin, that means you're out. He does in. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye.
Justin, once it had time to sink in, what was your reaction of being eliminated? You know, I don't think I really ever looked back, Heidi, to be honest. Because I know that just being on the show, I feel a winner already. I really do. And getting that far, just having a chance to show a little bit of myself to the world, and I think all of us could say that, is, you know, such a prize. Do you think you should have been eliminated? No, I don't think I should have been eliminated. I don't say that I think I'm exactly what the show was looking for and they're an American designer of the future, necessarily. But I do think that I was talented enough to make it to the final three. Is it too mean to ask of you to say who should have gone instead? Of course, I think, you know, the popular vote would be that Wendy probably didn't deserve to go. Um, But do you know, do you know that Nancy O'Dell picked Wendy's dress? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She won that challenge. I don't think it was between Wendy and Austin. I think Wendy did good because it was very Grammy and he's, he was doing like Oscar rock. I definitely think Austin should have been in the final three in lieu of Wendy. So since we all love Mr. Austin Scarlett so much, we have a little tribute to you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, I totally think is ridiculous. He's just like the most eclectic weirdo I've ever met. <laughs> I feel that I was put on this earth to give beauty back to the world. Have you ever been in a men's bathroom before? Oh. oh. It looks just like a men's bathroom stuff going on, too. It's really But it's not. Listen, he takes pride in the way he looks. Austin is in the wrong century. We think Austin is like a vampire that has lived from the 18th century. And the winner of Miss Postal Service 2004 goes to... Austin! Austin the Carol! <laughs> Whenever he had a problem or something, he would just do this... That is that. Yeah. That was great. It was great. So, with Austin being out, that means our three finalists are Carason, Jay, and Wendy. What do you think about our three finalists? Um, I think it should have been me, Alexandria, and Kevin. There you go. I think we're the, we're the most talented designers. It's time to bring out our three finalists. And the first one is Kara San. Hi, everybody. Welcome, Kara San. Thank you. Our next finalist is Jay McCarroll. Austin, have and chain. You are over the top today. No, I look really good. You're gonna look great. You look like a doily. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Okay, it's time to bring out our third finalist, Wendy Pepper. Don't act like you're happy to see me. Sit down. You look different. Yep, did my hair and... You did your hair, you changed it? Yep. Got rid of the glasses and uh, shaved off a few pounds since I was here the last time. And how has it been for you since the show started airing? It's been a wonderful experience. I mean, it's been a little rough for me. 
uh, as the shows have continued to air, but I've had people write me. And some of them have been pretty upset with me because of the way that I acted on the show. Why did you choose to be so strategic in your competition? Uh, because I want to win. I mean, you know, I came to win. Based on what? I'm sorry? Did you rely on your raw talent or did you rely on malicious trickery in order to get you to where you are now? First of all, the judges were not going to be responsive to any kind of strategy on my part, so obviously they saw talent. And as far as my fellow designers, I treated them as if they were trying to eliminate me. We knew that 11 of us had to go. You look evil to all of everyone. And your daughter, what does yeah, she say? Yeah, I mean, you basically I mean, said you would step over anyone to, to win. I mean, I don't think that's... I think uh, we were all really uh, nice to you because we felt sorry for you because you're such a terrible designer. You're like a mother of whatever, however many kids you have. And then you just stepped on all of us. I think the yeah. way that we play this game is the way we play in life. If you're a cutthroat person, if you're a liar, if you're a stealer, if you strategize on the show, that's what you do in life. And I worked really hard to get to where I am and do it in a way that I can respect myself and I can respect other people. And you can really exactly. see the difference between Karasan and Wendy. Well, here's the thing. See, I think maybe people misunderstand my objective by coming on the show. I didn't come on the show to interact with my fellow designers. I came on the show to win. That is win. so typical. So cliche of an answer. I don't regret my approach. I just assumed that we were all doing the best we could in this difficult environment to get to the end. Because to me, that's the point. Get yourself to the end. Now, through some our people work. may... Through our work. It's not about getting to the end. It's about how you get to the end. Our viewers have a great deal of interest in Wendy, and via the BravoTV.com website, they've written some questions that I'd like to present. Wendy, when you watched the show, were you surprised by how nasty you came across? When I look at the show, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with how I come across, but this was a unique set of circumstances. It was a pressure cooker environment. It brought out a lot of emotion with all of us designers and some of us for the purposes of defending ourselves and preserving our sanity had to engage in certain behaviors that allowed us to simply get through the day. I mean, I just don't think people can understand how difficult it was. Do you feel that you're happiest, Wendy, designing in your flow and just really feeling the art, or did you feel happiest when you're winning? Ultimately, it's about you and your Daniel, art, ultimately. Daniel, I really appreciate this question because I think it goes to the fact that at least I own up to the fact that I have strategic motives. And I think if you look around this group, you see a lot of people who are not exactly honest about their methods. Wendy, yeah. this is not survivor. I don't get it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Don't sell your soul to get anywhere because you may need it one day. Okay? Very 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 cheers. 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 Yeah. cheers to that. Yeah. Dave, if anybody needs any um, tape or paper, powder and paper, just let me know. talk a little bit about the challenges. What was the hardest challenge, you think? I think the first challenge was the hardest. The first one. No question. <laughs> Everything that you will use to design and fabricate this challenge must be purchased here. And just the nervousness of the first challenge, you know, what is it going to be like, you know, and, and just walking into that grocery store, your feeling was like, What am I going to do here? We have another question from a viewer. What was your security blanket during the competition? Alcohol. 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 No, I mean, at the end of the day, you're working like a dog. And then finally, it's all up to, like, the deadline. And then 
Well, what do you do? And, you know, then after that, you can, like, <gasps> breathe. So yeah. we would, like, let it all hang out when it, the night oh, would yeah. come Let around. it all hang out. You really did, and that's why we <laughs> called it Project Drunk Way. Drunk Way. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a it's drink? Well, we weren't working. We were pretty much drinking and chain smoking. <laughs> My beverage of choice is champagne, Cristal, of course. There have been times that have been upstairs in 39C and everybody's drinking. <laughs> when you drink, you lose control. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> there are great performances of uh, with Austin and Vanessa when they were doing Gone with the Wind. They are. So let's do some yoga, shall we? Yes. Hey, and I've never done drunk yoga before. My yoga instructor's gonna be horrified. Get up. It's too hard. <laughs> you fucking crap boy. And although I was scared out of my mind to come on the show. I'd just like to tell you all, I'm so happy that you all came to me. Vanessa. You know, speaking of Project Drunk Way, I have to comment that this looks like some blood has been spilled. This and it's isn't me. Something of a I metaphor for some of the <laughs> conversations. So let's talk a little bit about the runway shows. Who was the hardest judge? Nina Garcia. Yeah. Really? Garcia. Jay, I think that you missed it on the color. I'm a little disappointed in your design. I don't know, I feel you didn't put enough effort into it. This just feels not well executed. How about Michael? Fair. Fair. Yeah. fair. He's fair, he's that's what I said. He's fair. Out he what he thought. The dress fits her really gorgeously. Those are the shorts from hell. I think you did an amazing job. I'm underwhelmed. On the topic of judging, we have a question from a viewer again, and this question is for Vanessa. Do you regret your runway confession that you do not so well? Tell the judges who on your team should be in and who should be out. Wow. Vanessa. I think uh, if I was going to choose anyone, I think I'd probably choose myself because I'm the worst sewer. Austin. It's just a, you know, simple fact that Vanessa just isn't as adept in sewing as Wendy and I. I do sew well. Actually, I sew really well. However, I was fed up, worn out, doing Austin's Bo Peep outfit. I was dissatisfied and pissed off. That's now, it. Austin that's knew it. that. We both knew that, right? That's and it. I was not a bad member on the team. No, yeah, like, she... once I said, oh, you know what? I've got verbal diarrhea and I think I was the worst on the team. It was like, okay, I agree with you. I, at that point, just was trying to be completely honest. Uh, Wendy had already chosen me. I could have very easily been, oh, well, you know, I've got to, you know, kick her back, do this for, you know, trying to eliminate me. I just had to name the weakest link. For that instance, even though you're such a fabulous designer and, you know, we were sewing, I mean, she was on the team. So that was, she was a weak link in that very instance. 
But as a Do designer that has no wink reflection. Wink. You know what? Every time you f say the wink link, so my, ever. My, I'm sorry. No, wait. My, my sales go from 2.5 million to like 700,000 to 500,000 to. Nothing. But that, but the, but the bottom line for me is that uh, it really has no reflection of your. Yes, it had an enormous reflection on my career. Huge. Mm -hmm. so let me tell you how many sewing kits I've received in the mail. It's insane. Really? From Walmart. Yes, sewing kit after sewing kit. Yes, so we really want you to learn how to sew. I'm like, oh, uh, thanks. Well, <laughs> and I said, in retrospect, do you feel it was an error to have? in your own way, self-eviscerated on that runway. Well, in this fantasy land of Project Runway, it's probably an error. On the topic of the runway judging and things that one might regret, Wendy, do you have any feelings in retrospect about your interaction with Austin on that very memorable runway judging? Wendy, who on your team should be out? I did feel that Austin could have done a better job with leadership. Or your interaction with Kevin on the judging that eliminated Kevin. Wendy, can, can you comment just a little bit about Kevin as a leader? Okay, I personally felt that Kevin was not as active as a leader as he could have been. I think the collection could have been better directed had he been more involved in getting us on the same path. Well, I'll take, there, there are two different situations. The first one with Austin was, you know, really just a terribly difficult circumstance. Now, I decided that Vanessa had really tried her hardest to realize Austin's goal. And so I could not in good conscience choose Vanessa as the weaker member. So I was left with no choice but to say Austin as he was in charge. How about Kevin? In terms of Kevin, I felt his leadership was lacking and I said it. Impersonate each other. No? Nora's great at that. Nora's oh, fantastic. We know. Let's have a look. It's, it's impossible for me to have stolen your die. I didn't take the bitch's die. That's for sure. I didn't steal the bitch's die. I didn't steal the bitch's die. I didn't take that bitch's die. That's for sure. One of my best impersonations is Alessandra. Hi, my name is Alexandra Vidal. This is Alessandra Vidal. When I was a little girl, I loved Barbie dolls. Like, like, it's so hot in here, you know what I mean? And like, I totally don't even know if I should put more lip stuff on. Here's Mario. Fashion. Whatever, I'm gonna go take a nap, enjoy life. It's the best looking garbage bag dress ever, I think. Daniel, what did you have for breakfast? Well, for breakfast, I had egg whites on wheat toast and I put some butter on it. Kevin, I can do really well. My goal is to be a great, a great American designer. I really want to be the next designer. Yeah. <laughs> am, I, am I mumbling? And he kind of like wiggles his eyes around like that. <laughs> Rob! Rob! Oh, yes. Do you mind towel? Rob! Do you mind towel? Rob! We felt like we couldn't find Nora in your wedding dress at all. We haven't really seen you in your design. And fashion is all about what's in and what's out. Either you're in or you're out. Either you're in or you're out. Either you're in or you're out. <laughs> <laughs> and now I want to bring it over to Tim. Who helped you guys, advised you guys, and I don't know where you all would be now if it wouldn't be for Tim. He did oh, such a great job. Really so we have a little video. Of you. I'm afraid. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. 
Make it work is our theme. Exactly. Our project runway theme. Tim Gunn's favorite slogan, make it work. Make your postal thing work. Yeah, it's called make it work. Make it work. Make it work. Make it work for you. Carry on. Make it work. Carry on. Make it work. Carry on. 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 Okay. Carry on. I'm gonna carry on myself. All right. I'm reluctantly leaving you. Good luck. What was your first impression of Tim? I remember the first time we were filming, we um, we all went to the steps of Parsons. This will be your working space, and this is Tim Gunn. <laughs> and there next to you, Heidi, was this like nicely dressed, articulate man, and I just looked at him like, what a hot bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He really was. He, he, no, no, he was well composed. And, you know, I just hope I look as good as he does. When he, every time he would come into the room, he would let you know, as far as what you were doing, if it was the right direction. He was dead on every time. All the little things he would say, like when you got to the runway, you would think, oh my God, Tim did mention, yeah, right. Tim did mention that. I should have listened to him. What was the most difficult thing you've ever heard from Tim? I had a terrible time with Tim on the last challenge. That top is looking matronly compared to the, to, to the modernness of that skirt. Tim just goes, da, 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 and I completed da, 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 and it was much, 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 much better. I don't even know what I would have done Sometimes without that. Wendy. My work was dowdy. It was dowdy most of the time. I remember that moment. Michael Kors is stuck on the fact that your looks are dowdy. For some reason, he felt it necessary to say that the judges think my clothes are dowdy. From a functional standpoint, I feel like that was a good shoe. I'm trying to help you here. Please don't defend the shoe to me. Frankly, I wanted to wake Wendy up. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know something? You're thinking in a dowdy way. This is where you are right now. Let's get out of it. Coming from you, I mean, it absolutely woke me up. And the thing that was wonderful about it was it came at right the right time. During the postal design challenge, there was also something that happened to Wendy that wasn't very nice. Someone drew on Wendy's daughter's picture. And we have a little clip that I want to show you. We came back to Parsons and, you know, we all went and sat at our tables, which is what we usually do. And I look down and I see this line drawn through my daughter's picture. Somebody drew on my picture of my daughter. What? And I want to say to you guys, I apologize if you all are mad at me, if I have done something wrong, if you are mad at me for how I treated Kevin, if you're mad at me for how I treated you, I want to say to you that I meant no harm, but if you wanted to, you know, do psychological warfare on me, you did a good job. It's the absolute quintessential image of my daughter. You know, she's dressed up and she's looking up in the sky and she's just so happy and so beautiful, you know? It's the only one I have of her like that, okay? I don't have a copy. I don't have the negatives. That's it. <laughs> now, dare anybody do that to my daughter? She's really good at hiding her emotions, obviously, because she always just looks cold. So when you see her cry, you know, in public, you know that something's kind of up. Oh, yeah, that's totally intentional. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was one of the models, maybe it was Kevin. I would love to know the outcome, because I love that kind of dirt. Who was it? Oh, I thought you said it. Why are you saying it's me? I didn't it? say sh**, Kevin. You have something to <laughs> you know? Maybe it's Why are you talking to me? Who was it? Yeah, I I, I'm not blaming you. I'm I was shocked when I saw all of this. Who did that, I want to know. Step up, be a grown-up, and say who painted on her daughter's face. It sounded like retribution. What? Kevin did. Why would it be me? <laughs> I would suspect you because of the timing. 
It happened after Wendy basically eviscerated you on the runway. And Kevin, you were alone in the room. I think Wendy might have done it to herself. It was a terrible, terrible, it terrible is. thing. It was, it was horrible. No, it was a horrible, yes. horrible thing. Especially since her daughter has nothing to do with the show. No. Maybe it would be in perfect timing or whatever, but it wasn't me, so. I bet it was Wendy then. You did it to your own picture. Vanessa, that's not really cold. I mean, for as much yeah. hatred as I think some people have here for Wendy, that was the lowest, grossest thing that. You know, I'm like getting bent out of shape about it, but it was horrible. Uh, if someone did that to me, I would, I would have lost it. Do you have a daughter? No, but if I had a picture of my mother, if someone, you, are you? Do you have a soul? Honestly, Vanessa, why do you act like this? You're so soulless. I'm joking. Take a yoga class. My God. I think that silly thing with the picture was ridiculous. Whoever did it. I mean, acted out of uncontrolled anger. It's just so silly. I don't even think it's really even worth discussing, to be honest. Then can I have a banana again? I like them for breakfast. I like them for lunch. I like them single or in a bunch. Oh. You guys worked hard, very, very hard. And when you guys were not designing, you were doing interviews. And a lot of people at home don't know that, how really was 24-7 designing, interviewing from one studio to the next studio. And you guys got a little delirious every once in a while. And we have a nice little clip again for you to see. Welcome. This is just like humiliation <laughs> to have a man blot the sweat off of your face. You know, like me and him are completely opposite. You know, I mean, just, I mean, just being from our, you know, genitals, not genitals. How do you say that? After we picked our models, then Hody, Hody, I said a party. <laughs> <laughs> she killed everybody. Hody Klum. S and M as a sadistic mannerism, masochism, masochism, masochism. So after we picked our models. Um, with the button process, uh, Hody. Oh my God! Why are you saying this? Sado masochism. So Kara San, if she had to choose between the sado and the masochism, she would like the sadoism. After the challenge, uh, Hosty. Oh my God! Why are they having such a problem with her name? Damn it! English class 101. I never got into that crap either. Either or sadism or masochism. So I just like the I just like to be in the middle. <sighs> Sparkles. I mean, as much as I was running around like a you know a head without a chicken, I was still you know I'm, I'm still thinking I'm in the game. What about your strategy in terms of the other competitors in this? I don't know what the hell half hippo drama queen <laughs> hippo. I'm sorry. Hippie, the half hippie, the hippie hippo. I, fal I falafelized my uh, bodice. I falafel, I falafel, falafel sized. It's hard for me to make a strategy as far as the other competitors because I don't know who I'm up against. <laughs> That's so <laughs> We have a few other models here today. I want to bring them out. Ooh. Melissa, Jenny, Julia, and Martinique. How are all of you? It's yeah. great to see you. So, how has it been for you guys since the show started airing? Crazy. People recognizing you on the street differently than before? Yeah. Like on castings, you've been recognized by other models or by the casting agent. We have a question here. What made certain models preferable over others? Did you develop a favorite model to work with and why? For me, it was really an essential 
component of the show. This was the re I could have relationships with the models that weren't competitive in nature. It meant a lot to me. I just need to drop me. Why? Because you're late. <laughs> I went on personality. I really, I, you know, Julia is studying graphic design, so we could relate to certain things. I mean, there was, I, I would never work with Olga. She was, seems like a terrible person to me, as far as being a model. I mean, she doesn't know her role as a model. Can you take this off for me, please? I know you guys had a lot of fun, and let's have a look. Hello, cameras. How are you guys doing today? The models were a great part of the show. I mean, they, de they definitely added some, you know, some more um to it, like more pizzazz. There are cat fights. No one can break Russian power. Don't push me to uh, get married now. Oh my God! I travel the oceans for you. <laughs> I'd like to marry you. We will be models. Our children will be models. Our children's children will be models. Melissa, she's vivacious, flirtatious. She loves the attention. Every single outfit she did, she worked it. It's like a 36-year-old trapped in a 16-year-old body. Morgan is not with us tonight. In order to appear, she insisted that we sign a letter stating that we would not portray her in a negative way. Mm. And <laughs> to begin for Morgan, that's a little difficult. But when you see the next clip, you'll understand why it was impossible for us to sign such a letter. from hell, Morgan conquers and kills the world. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Morgan drama was just nuts. I lost my scarf and my earrings and my mind. Cuckoo <laughs> crazy. <laughs> She's been difficult. Morgan! Morgan! Dramatic, <laughs> moody, and crazy. Bro. <laughs> Seriously, enough! Enough! Wait! wait. Enough! Wait. Stop! Check it. This is Morgan Queen, your main mortal, signing out. <laughs> <laughs> Can I insert this viewer question also? Granted, Morgan has a great walk, but was working with her worth all the drama? Morgan is a big problem, but when you got her in the right groove, she's the, she was like... Melissa, I think, took her job the most seriously yeah. as a model. She was totally serious. She was doing a job. Melissa has like the perfect balance of professionalism, drive, beauty, to really make it. Where Morgan is fabulous, but you know, you've got to be a little more professional. Martinique, you wanted to say something yeah. with having to do with Morgan. Bad publicity can be good publicity. Yeah. I don't know. It helps for what? Do you have a negative in it, image of yourself? Well, Julia, How Melissa, Jenny, what do you think about what Martinique said? She did a few crazy things that got her good publicity, but it didn't do anything good for the designer in particular. I mean, she did, did some pretty big risks for them, which could have, you know, ruined their particular dreams. Like Kevin, for instance, in the bathing suit. That could have been really bad for him. Morgan said that she's going to a club. I don't know if it's good to wear my outfit there. What happened? It rips. Oops. <laughs> Before I send away the three finalists, I want to know from the designers if there are any open questions that you have 
for each other. <coughs> um, Vanessa, I read an article. Oh, yeah. An interview with you that was scathing. I just want to hear your opinion on why the hell you would ever leak that much information. I don't know who else read it. The part that I did read that when I decided to stop reading it was this one small piece that said that, you know, something about how we thought that there was going to be a different group of people and that out of all of them together, yeah. I chose these talent, you know, the talent was so low and they weren't professional and they just made clothes for their grandmothers. For me personally, that kind of that kind of hit me in a little bit, like, you know. In what way? In the way that, like, I did get chosen out of 1,200 people to come on, or however many people to come on this show, even with, you know, two years' experience. I wasn't expecting to go to New York and sew things in a little room with other people. I thought it was going to be different, and I say that on the telephone to this girl. It was very sour grape and very unprofessional, and I just... Being a part of that, you were you But were it wasn't including... a professional interview. Well, it was with somebody on the telephone that was talking. Did you not know where it was going no. to get So they did it behind your back? It wasn't. It was with an ex-intern of mine. I was answering questions on the, inter, on the telephone. And I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything about me, but any you... information about anybody. You kind of grouped us together and and said very negative things about the show and for for me I mean I took this whole thing very seriously it feels very close to my heart now and for you to it just for you to yeah, diss it, it like it that so much I mean you're obviously having a problem with the show heart because you're like gonna show your collection on Friday and I'm not but I'm I was never. talking on the telephone about things that were important I don't even know if they were important I was just talking and what were you thinking you can't tell an interviewer that you thought the production that you're on that you want to gain so much out of to put down a show that has given me and everybody else here a great opportunity I just think is wrong I don't well, you are in total opinion. No, it's, this, is, this, is, it's this is my opinion. You just go right. yours. So, so my opinion is, I appreciate the show. I'm not going to put it down, knowing that there are 11 other people here, some who are showing their shows, some are not. But other, so many other people are going on to amazing things from this show. Why, are you, so, why are you so sour about? I you know think what? you would be we saying are... something different if no. you were the you know people what? that were going no. to go this is... Vanessa, there's minutes. jobs I, I haven't think, gotten in you know? this world. We're all in the real world. I remember <laughs> talking to Jay about it, and there was like a good time for like about a week or so that I was like, oh my God, you know, I'm a psychopathic emotional basket case, and it's littered all over the internet. And I'm thinking to myself, no matter what, I sign myself to do yeah. this. I put myself and I put my emotions out there. The bottom line is, is that we signed up to do it. Yeah. All night you've been so sour about this. Because I don't want to be here. <laughs> this is bullshit. As soon as he was born, I just ran out of the hospital with him. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> Here, it's yours now. <laughs> and what is missing, I just see? Where's Vanessa? <laughs> She's left. For some reason, we don't know. Well, we have appropriate remains. She we did have, not like the last conversation. We have a red wine so stain. she never decided to come back. And some shards of glass representing her. Huh. Yes, <laughs> it was that last conversation. We send away Carson, Jay, and Wendy. And we also put a great video package together of what you guys had to say on who you thought should win Project Runway. Who? The... The final three of being Jay, Karasan, and Wendy. And if the winner had to be one, I predict Karasan's gonna win. Jay's gonna win. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it right now, Jay's gonna win. Karasan, I think Karasan's gonna win the runway show. You know what? 
I'm going to win. Seriously, I'm going to. All I can say is that I plan to win. Um, no one really knows, but I would say probably Carousel. I, I'm, I'm going with probably with the published reaction, probably of Jay. I have to say, I think Jay will win. Well, I predict I'm going to win. So now that they're all gone, I think um, we can speak more openly. I want to know from you guys, who do you think will win? Karasad. Why? Because she's the most dedicated, the one with the most spirit, the most with a positive energy. She's been doing it for a long time. She has variation in her collection, but it's still focused. She's going to take it. I know Karis going to win. I think Jay also has something that's very consistent, though. I mean, he may come across as very wild in his personality, but each challenge, his work is beautiful, amazing, and consistently Jay, just like Karasan. I think it's a 50-50 toss-up. Regardless of who wins, we're going to have a loss because... Either one of them should go like forward Jay with the show. I'm not sure what yeah. I think Jay, like Jay? myself, is just a little maybe too in his own I think, thing. I kind think of you too and, outrageous. I think you, I think you and Tyler Son are similar in that you're more of a costume. Tyler Son costume? Design. No. And Jay is more, I think he's more as a capsule. It's called image it's called a lot punky, stronger. It's called Punky Brewster. Like you, uh, you see a JP. No, Daniel. <laughs> no question. It's that's not. Style. <laughs> what if one do you want? Oh what do you guys think? Not I wouldn't. Do you, what do you I think? wouldn't. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be really happy. I don't think quite she honest. It as much as Karasan. But do you realize she has a chance? She has a 33 percent chance of winning this thing. There, no, I understand. Knows, uh, Just whoever's going to be the most exciting, I think, will win. No one knows who will win. Karasan. We're going to have a two-hour special here on Bravo. Oh, and then we're going to find out who will win Project Runway. And I want to thank you guys for coming for this special show that we did tonight. Tim Gunn, oh, thank you. you. Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah. That's a man, it's a man thing. A friend of mine told me about putting a game card around your balls. Wendy. It doesn't look like you put that much uh, creativity into your design. Well, Mr. Kors, if you let me defend myself, I've listed a number of points. Blah, 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 blah. It'll be short. In the front, in the front. But, like, it'll be like a photo. But she'll be like, if she's what? You. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna, I think if I add any, like... Nine designers have been eliminated. Only three remain. Tonight, all 12 designers have returned to New York for a special episode. I hate to, to cut this short, Tim, but I got to get back to it. There. Done. I didn't do anything. I just like, draped it around, like tied it together, and that's it. Hey, what's up? How How are you? you? Good. Star, I'm sorry, you're out. Fashion, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here. No, 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 sweetie. I came here to compete and not to be f***ed around with. Okay, turn around. <laughs> it's so small. Look in the mirror. Yes. Yeah, so Have you ever worn a bikini that tall? Or? Uh -uh. No. Oh. <laughs> Selling in more boutiques and stuff. Oh, well, I'm sure it's just a show and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, I'll show you my notebook. I brought it. 
the stars do in the black, black and red. Is that bad? Nice to be more subtle than that. Say it to my face, Kevin. But I don't think you want to know what I think. Bitch is gonna get stabbed. <laughs> Hi! What's up, guys? Hello. Hey. Oh, <laughs> What's up, man? Are you doing? I just don't know how I'm going to respond. If you don't, Wendy, then yeah. I, I don't even I mean, think I can say hi to her. On the other hand, maybe she all along she was just like a smart, savvy businesswoman. <laughs> Wendy, if you listen to this, you, sh you don't deserve to be there. <laughs> This is the search for the next big fashion designer. It's a cutthroat business. The competition was fierce. Twelve contestants, three finalists, and one winner. Three designers will make their runway debut at Olympus Fashion Week. I plan to make it to fashion. I think I'll be number one. And the winner of Project Runway will receive everything they need to start their own label. I think I deserve to win. People are going to start getting pretty bitchy. Oh, my. For these 12 contestants, Project Runway is a chance of a lifetime. I want to welcome you guys to our special show. So nice to see all of you guys again. In a minute, we're going to bring out the final three and um, ask them some questions. And we want to ask you guys some questions. As you all know, Austin was the last designer to be eliminated. So we want to show a little video clip of those last special moments for Austin. I, I don't know what to do about Austin. We can't seem to get him out of the box of this couture world. That is true. Wendy, you are the winner of this challenge. Nancy O'Dell did pick your dress to wear to the Grammys. So you're in. Austin, that means you're out. He does in. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Austin. Once it had time to sink in, what was your reaction of being eliminated? You know, I don't think I really ever looked back, Heidi, to be honest. Because I know that just being on the show, I feel a winner already. I really do. And getting that far, just having a chance to show a little bit of myself to the world, and I think all of us could say that is, you know, such a prize. Do you think you should have been eliminated? No, I don't think I should have been eliminated. I don't say that I think I'm exactly what the show was looking for and they're an American designer of the future, necessarily. But I do think that I was talented enough to make it to the final three. Is it too mean to ask of you to say who should have gone instead? Of course, I think, you know, the popular vote would be that Wendy probably didn't deserve to go. Um, but do you, know, do you know that Nancy O'Dell picked Wendy's dress? Mm hmm She won that challenge. I don't think it was between Wendy and Austin. I think Wendy did good because it was very Grammy, and he's, he was doing, like, Oscar rock. 
I definitely think Austin should have been in the final three in lieu of Wendy. So since we all love Mr. Austin Scarlett so much, we have a little tribute to you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, I totally think is ridiculous. He's just like the most eclectic weirdo I've ever met. <laughs> I feel that I was put on this earth to give beauty back to the world. Have you ever been in a man's bathroom before? Oh. Oh. It looks just like a men's bathroom stuff going on, too. It's really... That's not. What is it? He takes pride in the way he looks. Austin is in the wrong century. We think Austin is like a vampire that has lived from the 18th century. And the winner of Miss Postal Service 2004 goes to... being out, that means our three finalists are Carasan, Jay, and Wendy. What do you think about our three finalists? Um, I think it should have been me, Alexandria, and Kevin. There you go. I think we're the, we're the most talented designers. It's time to bring out our three finalists, and the first one is Carasan. <laughs> Thank you. Our next finalist is Jay McCarroll. Austin, haven't changed. You are over the top today. No, I don't know. You said you're going to look great. You look like a doily. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Okay, it's time to bring out our third finalist, Wendy Pepper. Uh, Don't act like you're happy to see me. Sit down. You Anything look different. Else? Yep, did my hair. And you did your hair, you mm -hmm. changed it. Yep. Got rid of the glasses and uh, shaved off a few pounds since I was here last time. And how has it been for you since the show started airing? It's been a wonderful experience. I mean, it's been a little rough for me uh, as the shows have continued to air. But I've had people write me. And some of them have been pretty upset with me because of the way that I acted on the show. Why did you choose to be so strategic? in your competition? Uh, because I want to win. I mean, you know, I came to win. Based on what? I'm sorry? Did you rely on your raw talent or did you rely on malicious trickery in order to get you to where you are now? First of all, the judges were not going to be responsive to any kind of strategy on my part so obviously they saw talent and as far as my fellow designers I treated them as if they were trying to eliminate me we knew that 11 of us had to go you look evil to all of everyone and your daughter what does yeah, she say I mean you basically I mean, said you would step over anyone to, to win I mean I don't think that's I think uh, we were all really Personally, nice to you because we felt sorry for you because you're such a terrible designer. You're like a mother of whatever, however many kids you have. And then you just stepped on all of us. 
I think the way that we play this game is the way we play in life. If you're a cutthroat person, if you're a liar, if you're a stealer, if you strategize on this show, that's what you do in life. And that I worked really hard to get to where I am and do it in a way that I can respect myself and I can respect other people. And you can exactly. really see the difference between Karasan and Wendy. Well, here's the thing. See, I think maybe people misunderstand my objective by coming on the show. I didn't come on the show to interact with my fellow designers. I came on the show that to win. That is so typical. So cliche of an answer. I don't regret my approach. I just assumed that we were all doing the best we could in this difficult environment to get to the end. Because to me, that's the point. Get yourself to the end. Now, through some our people work. may... Through our work. It's not about getting to the end. It's about how you get to the end. Our viewers have a great deal of interest in Wendy, and via the BravoTV.com website, they've written some questions that I'd like to present. Wendy, when you watched the show, were you surprised by how nasty you came across? When I look at the show, I'm a little bit uncomfortable with how I come across, but this was a unique set of circumstances. It was a pressure cooker environment. It brought out a lot of emotion with all of us designers and some of us for the purposes of defending ourselves and preserving our sanity had to engage in certain behaviors that allowed us to simply get through the day. I mean, I just don't think people can understand how difficult it was. Do you feel that you're happiest, Wendy, designing in your flow and just really feeling the art, or did you feel happiest when you're winning? Ultimately, it's about you and your Daniel, art, ultimately. Daniel, I really appreciate this question because I think it goes to the fact that at least I own up to the fact that I have strategic motives. And I think if you look around this group, you see a lot of people who are not exactly honest about their methods. Wendy, yeah. this is not Survivor. I don't get it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Don't sell your soul to get anywhere because you may need it one day. Okay? Very 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 Cheers. Very Cheers. Very Cheers to that. Yeah. Dave, if anybody needs any um, tape or paper, pattern paper, just let me know. talk a little bit about the challenges. Mm -hmm. What was the hardest challenge, you think? I think the first challenge first was the challenge. hardest. The first one. No question. <laughs> Everything that you will use to design and